Hey guys, this is Full Gaming N6 here, and welcome to tutorial 8 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll be more organized in creating your game and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. So, if you're following thus far, you'll know that today I'll be showing you guys. A simple pause button you can add to your game so your mouse will not display on your screen when you're playing your game and uh, you know if you if you'd like to go and do something and then return back to your game you can do so uh, other than just leaving it as is and just going and do what you have to do and die and then when you come back you notice that your levels restarted so yeah I'll show you guys a simple pause menu, pause uh, button, sorry, that you can add, and uh, this mouse will be, uh, it will vanish from our screen, you should say. Yeah, so I'll show you guys that. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is uh, check for the link in the description below and uh, download the package and import it into your project. Good stuff. After you're finished, you'll get a uh, folder named as Tutorial 8. Right, this folder here within the folder you have a pause button uh, script all you need to do is just uh, create a uh, empty game object all right we'll rename this empty game object to uh, pause you can rename it to whatever it doesn't really matter you just need an actual game object to drag the script onto so you just take the script you can drag it here or you can drag it right onto the pause uh, game object all right I'm just gonna drag it here good stuff and yeah that's pretty much it you just hit play now and uh, everything is pretty good now it's gonna vary according to your resolution alright so let's say we set the resolution to alright let me just hit play and let's say we set our uh, resolution to uh, this here you'll notice it's gonna display in the middle but if we actually change it you know it extends and it goes to your right alright so just keep that in mind so if you're gonna actually use it like this, uh, I think you're gonna need to, uh, after you build your game, you're gonna need to run it in uh, resolution 800 by uh, 600. So, yeah, keep that much in mind. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. I know it's pretty short, and uh, if you were following my previous series on how to create a first person shooter game, pretty basic, uh, I showed you guys the same method as well. Alright, so, yeah. Uh, you guys can check it out if you want to, if you're new and you're interested uh, in getting a little more understanding, you know, you guys can check it out, but uh, it's all up to you. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much that for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys like it. If you do, you can give me a thumbs up. Uh, do remember to subscribe, keep yourself up to date with my channel. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a pretty cool uh, uh, light, uh, kind of light effect, I would say, alright? We will have um, something along the lines like uh, we're gonna put a light right there, all right, near this post or near the church. It doesn't really matter, all right. But you're gonna notice it's gonna be blinking on and off, all right. You know, a little spookiness, all right, to your scene, all right. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that. So yeah, guys. Once again, if you like this uh, tutorial. Uh, you can give me a thumbs up, do remember to subscribe, keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So until next time, continue making games guys, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.